Okay, so after the tank guard install, I am now installing the engine guards. This is the hardware that it comes with. There's too many hardware, so I allocated what needs to go where, like spacers and the bolts and how things are supposed to go together. So you're going to get the crossbar in between the engine and the exhaust. And you see this ends here, they go where the thick spacers are. I think I'm gonna go without the spacer because it won't line up with any spacer. So grab one of those small bolts with the hex head and you're gonna use a size 6 hex to screw it in. So I just went on the right side and did the same thing. Everything is just hand tightened for now because I need um, a lot of play when I'm putting these together. So this is supposed to bolt in here. I have to take out this stock bolt as well. It'll be replaced by the bolts that they provided. And this one bolts into there. And there's two holes on the inside of this frame and you're gonna use it goes in here this way here you guys can see we're gonna use these small bolts to bolt those on for the left side <clears throat> I have to remove the screw Right behind the shifter, there's a hole here. It goes on like this. This goes on like this. And same thing as the other side, there's these two holes bolt, bolt onto these two holes here with that uh, the tiny bolts that I showed you guys earlier. So right now, I'm just going to remove this big bolt. It's a T55 Torx. So you're going to get one of the big bolts and this really big spacer goes in there and put a spacer in there goes. it's a 19 millimeter and afterwards when everything is done and you've torqued it you're going to use this plastic cover on this bolt in or this goes in right right behind the shifter here it's a size 8 allen and just use the spacer and the and the nut to lock it on the other side i'm just going to do this by hand for now This nut is actually 17 millimeters. Just want to let you guys know. And here's the two small bolts. That's size 5 Allen key. But I just loosely put it there for now. Because I still have to do the right side. Okay, I need to remove this now. So we're going to use this thick spacer over there. that size 8 Allen key oh, oops. the spacer go
And these little bolts are now going to go here. So now that everything is connected, I can just tighten everything. I almost forgot to add that I had to add two extra spacers here on my own because otherwise it does not line up. The left side was same as the tank guard. The left side was more difficult than the right side. Okay, so after it's been torqued, here's the finished product. And don't forget to put this on. The big the biggest bolt is twenty-four newton meters torque spec. And don't forget to use the thread locker. I use the medium strength blue thread locker. Uh it's definitely harder to install this than the tank guard. It uses a lot of uh manpower. To kind of wiggle it around and make the holes line up so I am a little tired I think I'm going to take a break before I install the side racks because my back is killing me right now but here it is